So here I have a uh, convertible car seat in the Model S. This is the white S. And it's rear facing and you can see here's the uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see very well or not. Anyway, you can see there's um, this comes pretty close to the front seat. I've got the front seat moved up a little bit but I measured from the back of the uh, car seat, which is right here, to uh, this part of the uh, front, which is where your, well, I mean, your knees would be below that, but this gives you an idea of where the, um, where the dash sits relative to the back seat, and that space is 38 inches, and so that's fairly meaningless without a reference in terms of a human. So I'm sitting here in the seat, and let me adjust it as far back as it'll go. Okay. There, it's just touching the top of our um, car seat. And um, here we go. So here's the knee room that I have. The dash sort of slants towards the front of the car, so this is the uh, this is the closest part to your knees, this is the farthest part. So if I sit back, it's not too bad, I think this is, um, I feel like I'm sliding forward. There. That's livable, livable right there, it's uh, fairly upright, but relative to the post, that's where I am. And, um, okay, back to, back to here. I've got about, I don't know, that's probably two and a half inches, uh, three to four centimeters between my left knee, more space here. Um, I definitely, I mean, normally, uh, you can't really tell, but my legs are coming up a little bit on the seat. And, um, I can't. Yeah, I can't extend my my feet far enough so that my legs are flat on it. So I, I definitely feel like I'm a little more too far for comfort. Um, try a couple other configurations here. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm leaning back a little bit more. Um, so that's a little bit more comfortable, but still the I guess. What I'm noticing is that the angle, the angle of my feet, like it's, they're kind of pushed back a little bit. Um, so, if I were to make this completely comfortable in terms of my legs, probably, yeah, probably about there. So I'm a little farther back now, and um, where are we in terms of this? Yeah, so I have to sit pretty upright in order not to, um, I mean, it's, I'm putting it right where it's touching the, the car seat, so, I mean, I could do this, I could ride um, here, but for some reason it feels like I'm really, it feels like the seat's a little too tall. Okay, well, anyway, it's doable, but not optimal. Okay, here's the same car seat in the Model X. So I've got the second seat back as far as it'll go. It's not in the recline position, but it's in the regular position and then as far back as it'll go. It's at the same um, angle, so you know this thing that tells you whether it's level. It's um, I didn't have to adjust that, so it's the same in both vehicles. Um, and it's as tight as I can get it, which I can... I always have trouble tightening this, this one in the Model S, um, but Got it pretty snug here now, um, which is good because you want your car seat to be really snug. So much so that it does depress the um, uh, the uh, passenger detection awareness on the car. So it, um, if you just have the car seat strapped in, the car will think there's a person here. And if you don't have the seat belt buckled, then it will say that somebody sitting here with no seat belt. So uh, what most people do is they uh, feed the seatbelt through somewhere and then uh, actually latch it on there. Of course some car seats you just buckle with the seatbelt so that's not an issue but this one um, 
it's better to use the latch attachments wherever possible. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, so I measured uh, the distance uh, distance between the car seat and the white area here, and that distance is about 39 and three quarters inches, so just under 40 inches. Uh, Model X was 38, so that's only a difference of about an inch and three quarters. But let's do a people test. Oh, there's a free headband. All right, let's get some snow off of me. So now I'm sitting in this in this seat with the seat. Uh, yeah, okay. So I need to uh, back this up as far as. All right. So that's far, far back as it'll go without actually impinging on the, um, or yeah, changing the car seat. Okay. So this actually by itself is pretty comfortable. Let me show you how it is here. So I've got, um, uh, that's probably, it's not a whole lot more. I would say close to five centimeters, uh, probably a solid three inches, maybe more. Um, and then this knee is like, like that's like a, got a whole fist length in front of that. Um, and in terms of the position, it's, it's pretty up and down. Um, there I am in relation to the bar. I could, uh, I could move the seat a little forward and then tilt it back a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, so I only have a tiny bit more knee room here, but the big difference here with the Model X is that, um, because it's an SUV, it, you have much more vertical space. So the, the seat, um, is much is higher from the from the floorboard and what that means um, is that I mean your legs don't change length when you get into a car and uh, so if you're sitting low relative to the uh, to your foot well if you're sitting closer to your foot well then your legs need to go farther forward in order to be uh, comfortable or as in this case if the seat is higher then your extra leg length can be absorbed um, by being higher off the ground and your legs can come uh, closer. So even though I, I do have a little bit more um, uh, longitudinal length here and, and room for my knees, it feels way more spacious um, than that small improvement just because I'm so much higher uh, off the ground and instead of my knees feeling like they need to be crammed up there, which I still can't stretch out completely, of course. Um, but, I mean, they kind of naturally just rest right there. Uh, they don't, I, I don't feel nearly as scrunched. And I'm even actually reclined a little bit here. Um, but I've got, I'm six foot even, and I've got uh, probably, I don't know, eight inches. So that's probably... I don't know, something like 11 centimeters. No, probably more than that, probably like 12, 13 centimeters um, above me. So if I wanted to, I could um, raise this up. Yeah, and now, now my legs have even more space to go. This is actually as high as it goes. And I've still got room, oh, you can't see. I've still got room. Um, quite a bit of room up there for my uh, head to have space. So this is, of course, I feel like I'm riding really high, which I am, um, not in the marijuana sense, but it's, yeah, it's just, it's much more comfortable and you feel so much more spacious. And I know that the the new Model S's and the ones that have the panoramic roof, the, um, the headspace on the Teslas that have the, the glass roof have much more space because glass is thinner than, than what I have. So that is something to consider. I suppose I could have more vertical travel in the Model S, but it's still a sedan and it's still set lower and it's uh, it still requires more longitudinal um, leg room in order to be comfortable in a situation where you can't put your seat back um, very far because of a rear-facing car seat. So this was one of the improvements that I was really looking forward to with the Model X. I mean, I don't I don't sit in the um, passenger side all that often, 
Um, but now, if I do, and maybe I'll be more inclined to now, um, it'll at least be comfortable. And one of the reasons we put our car seat behind uh, the passenger side um, is because I'm usually driving and I don't have enough space uh, in the Model S to back my, my driver's seat up enough so that I'm still comfortable um, when I'm driving the Model S. So uh, this might fix that issue and you know with the new baby which is going to be here by June um, we're going to be using two car seats anyway so uh, it'll be nice to have uh, this extra space because all this, I mean, this is, it's the same situation on the driver's side with the Model X as well. You've got increased vertical space, more places for your legs to go. And lastly, I just want you to compare um, putting it all, all the space here. Uh, not, not the actual thing, but all this head space here for an adult to be putting in a rear-facing child. You can't, I mean, you can't quite step into it uh, with a rear-facing child because the operating space to do that is kind of back here and uh, the wheel well is there so with a forward-facing car seat yeah you could step into here have lots of headroom um, but even so just compare compare the spaciousness of that to this space which okay here's your operating hole if you will completely cut off by the ceiling here so not only can you not operate it from a standing position because of this, but when you do bend down, you have to kind of wrap around and then kind of scrunch backwards so that you can access, you know, the dis distant parts of this. Ugh. So if you're like four foot ten, that's not a big deal. Um, but it gets, uh, gets kind of old when you're when you're my height. So there's some differences in um, ease of use of particularly rear-facing car seats in the Model S and the Model X.